Hello architects and design enthusiasts, welcome back to Jonathan Reeves CAD. Well, today we're going to delve into the latest trends and innovations shaping the world of architecture. Today's episode is going to be focusing on AI and its impact on architectural technology. We're going to be looking at the game-changing technology of Prome AI and its impact on architectural concept design. So what we're going to do is just get started with the uh, Prome AI. If you've never seen it before, um, then I really recommend giving it a try. It's super good fun and it's very, very exciting. So let's jump into this video. And if you are new around here, please make sure you like and subscribe for more videos. The channel's been going really well lately with lots and lots of new subscribers. I would love to see you joining up. Thanks for watching, everybody. Let's get started. So before we dive into some of the specifics, let's get acquainted with Prome AI. Prome AI is actually short for Progressive Modeling AI and is basically at the forefront of the intersection between artificial intelligence and architecture. It brings a new dimension to the design process and it aims to enhance your creativity and efficiency. Let's talk about some of the key features that make AI, uh, Prome AI in particular, stand out. So basically we've got generative design. Okay, so you can see that AI employs generative multi-design algorithms that help architects to explore a multitude of design possibilities. And this is like having an intelligent design system that generates and refines your ideas based on inputs and project constraints. Let's jump into some real world examples of a couple of projects that I've been playing with uh, and show you some of the results I got, which were really amazing, to be honest. So look, if you do start off on the sketch rendering, uh, basically when we go to the homepage, you'll see all the different things that Prome AI can focus on. We've got uh, some amazing sketch rendering, and this is where I'm gonna focus this particular video. There's also AI generation and generative fusion, which is really interesting. So I'll try and cover that in another video, if not today as well before looking at some of these other aspects for you in further videos. But let's focus on the sketch rendering to start with, because this is the one that I've spent the most time on. So basically, I'm going to pop into my sketch rendering, and you'll see uh, all sorts of really nice examples uh, that other people have done all over the world. So yeah, take a look at these, they're pretty amazing. Um, and you know, some of these are unbelievable in terms of sort of quality of the image they're getting. But I want to show you some specific examples of what I've been up to. So I'm going to click onto my history, and basically, you'll see some of the things that I've been playing with uh, in my, basically, design process. So, all I need to do to start my design process is basically click on the plus sign, and that will allow me to actually load in an image. So, I've got a little folder of a couple of uh, images that I created for my Enscape tutorial. So, if you haven't seen that, Enscape and Vector, it's working together really well these days. Take a look at that, and the quality of these images was pretty amazing. Basically, what I'm going to do is let's load in a different one. Um, I quite like this white card one. So let's load in this as a sort of base image. So you'll see that it takes a second to load in. And basically, um, we can then choose from a range of different kind of filters, if you like, and let the AI progress the image. So the preview at this version is the free one, which is obviously relatively small at the moment. Basically, there, I'm going to go down, select the architecture tab, Okay, and then what I can do is go to different sort of types of architecture if I want to. So for example, mid-century, uh, elemental architecture, geometric harmony, I quite like the idea of that one, let's go for that. Now I can also go to different levels of precision. Um, so I'm gonna start off with the precise mode. Now this will be the one that gives you the closest sort of image representing uh, what you've currently got. And then we'll get a bit more creative and have a look at that as well. So when you're ready, just click generate. And basically, Prome AI will start the process of generation. You can see I'm in the queue, but it actually is quite fast. And what's nice is you get a really good up-to-date progress bar. And you can see we're already done. So now we're done, we can basically click on these individual images and we can see the starting image and then what the AI has actually interpreted in terms of, sort of this other option, if you like. Um, it's actually done a really nice job on the trees. Um, it's interesting. Not sure about the kind of groundscape too much itself. Let's go through to have a look at one of these other options. Okay, yeah, this is looking cool. You know, definitely the nice background and the trees look amazing. Um, it certainly interpreted the context uh, in a strange kind of conceptual way. That one actually looks pretty realistic. Um, I'm not sure why it's kind of interpreted this area as sort of hard kind of paving rather than just grass as well. But look, this is what the AI does. It does certain things 
uh, that you are interested in and certain things you can certainly discard. But as a way of generating quick images, very, very cool. So we can cycle through those and take a look at those. Now, if you want to have a look at some of the ones that I've created using other modes, okay, so here was a precise mode. Let's look at this one. Um, and this was a slightly different image from a different orientation. And I would say actually these ones came out quite successfully, as you can see. So I'm gonna go through the different options here. Um, this one particularly, I really like the, the lighting and so on again. Not sure about the context um, of that particular image itself, but the building itself looks really interesting. It's definitely kind of a nice sort of concept, the, the paving in this uh, sunken location for this eco home. So I don't know what you think about these images, but I think as a sort of starting point, they're really, really interesting. And it's definitely something that is fun to play with and super quick. So let's go down and look at this one here. Okay, so this one was uh, precise. You can see the uh, terms here, precise concept and with common and natural settings. Okay, so there's the image and I quite like the way you can just scroll over the two. So I really do like this one, this sort of snowy effect. I think that actually does look really, really cool as an image. Um, there was a really nice sunny version as well. And here it kind of interpreted it in a very different way and did a different facade and different materials. So, you know, definitely something that is worth looking at. This one made me laugh. Uh, obviously, we've had a bit of a flooding issue and you can see the building is surrounded completely by water. So, yeah, definitely not something I would be recommending to my clients. But this one had some kind of interesting kind of lighting and potential as well. So if you're interested in uh, sort of generating lots of concepts, let's look at this one. And um, basically, you know, Promai will certainly do that quite rapidly for you. Okay, so uh, the next thing I want to look at with Prima AI is the AI image generation where you're literally starting from some text prompts. So to do this, just pop down to the AI image generation uh, section here. Now you can see there's lots of featuring and trending uh, articles of other people's work here, which are quite inspiring for sure. And this will give you a bit of an idea about some of the prompts. Basically, what I'm gonna do is put my own prompt in. Um, I've actually typed this before, so I'm gonna go Desert House, in the style of Frank Lloyd Wright. And this is the very first time I've actually done this with you. So I'm really, really keen to see what it will produce literally live. Now you'll notice that if you do want to, you can actually click accelerate. And basically this will speed up the uh, process when you're in the queue and you can actually use your credits to do this. So with Promo AI, just while this is uh, processing, I'll just show you the different memberships. So we've got the base membership, uh, standard membership, and also professional membership, which comes in at uh, quite an expensive 79 pounds a month. So, you know, maybe for an organization, but I would recommend you start off with the free one. And if you do want to uh, try the membership, make sure you use my affiliate link in the subscription, which I'll put there for you. Um, but I would recommend you start probably on the base one and then work out from there. Let's go back to our home screen and let's click on and see how our AI image generation is going. Okay, so here we are back on our history. You can see it's actually generated our first instance. So let's see what we've got. Um, okay, so yeah, it's definitely got some Frank Lloyd Wright very large overhanging eaves and some nice sort of cantilevered balconies. That is very sort of falling water. Um, it's definitely got a very sort of desert style of architecture in there as well. So I really do like this one. Um, it's got these kind of like interlocking kind of roof forms, these projecting balconies, wide overhangs and sort of um, glazing sort of submerged behind those overhangs as well. Very typical of Frank Lloyd Wright. Lots of changes in level as well with these steps as well. You know it's a really interesting concept it's come up with and actually i think i prefer this one as as my favorite it's very very simplistic i really like the integration with the landscape as well so that was pretty successful and i think you know you'll agree these were definitely good starting points for something maybe i could work up in my cad software and to develop some more concepts as well okay so we've got a couple of concepts now let's see if we can refine these a bit further so basically the first thing i'm going to do is select this one you'll notice i've got a few different options where i can save these various assets download the file in various resolutions depending on your membership note that the full download quality is only available when you've got a kind of base membership um, and upwards what i'm going to do is click on to remix basically what that will do is allow me to take this particular image and remix it and let's click generate into a few different options based on that particular image so you can keep refining your uh, ai generated image kind of concept as we go 
Now there's also a couple of another nice cool things I can show you. Um, I really like the way, as well as downloading, you can actually jump over to this option here and basically hop to any of the other aspects of AI with Prime. Okay, so I'll show you some of these in a minute. Now, this is starting to actually get quite interesting because now we've refined these images, you know, I'm actually really quite impressed by the quality of the uh, image and the rendering. You know, I'm not being funny, but that actually looks like uh, it could be a really quite successful piece of architecture. And, you know, generated in a few moments, is something that I can then model up and change that concept and actually develop. Um, and I'm pretty impressed. I really, really like this one as well. Again, we've got these lovely Frank Lloyd Wright overhangs and flat roofs, different sort of concepts of uh, Frank Lloyd Wright architecture, some splayed walls, integration with the landscape and lots of changes in level. Um, let's go through to this one. So that was basically remixing, I think the initial one where we've got this nice reflectivity in the pool as well. So these look really great. I really like the Bezo backdrop. I think actually it's been incredibly successful, that particular image prompt. So do play around with this. Now the final thing I'm gonna do is click on to one of these and click on a retouch. So what that allows me to do is go into the retouching and replacing uh, module for the AI image generation. And basically if I want to, I can now go into certain elements, select them. Okay, I think if I hold shift down, let's select, say I want to kind of get rid of these bushes. Okay, I'm not too keen on those perhaps. And let's just select those ones. You can see how it's highlighting within the image. And when I click generate, um, basically it will basically do something a little bit different with those elements and hopefully remove those from that image. So it does allow you quite a lot of control over the actual precise mode of the image itself, which is absolutely fantastic. Okay, so you can see our retouching is finished. And if you basically just click onto this little icon now, you can see the sort of minor tweaks. You know, it is quite minor, but there are definitely some subtle differences where it's taken those bushes that I asked it to replace. It didn't replace them completely, it's just changed them out. And, you know, you can see some minor reflection changes as well. So quite nice little improvements there. Excellent. So let's move on to the next thing that I really want to just touch on. So this one is called Creative Fusion. Now, again, once you click on it, you'll see some featured artists. And if you go to uh, our history, you'll see something that I've done before, where basically if I click and show you how this was generated, this was a completely different project. But basically this was the uh, image taken from my CAD software in Vectorworks um, for a project I'm working on. It's for a small gym with a pool table. And you can see this is what the AI did with it. I mean, it's certainly some interesting aspects, what it's done with the structure. Um, it's converted the pool table into almost like a table by the looks of things. Let's go through to these other options here. Now that one's actually quite successful. It's interpreted that as a sort of more of an office desk kind of thing with some nice kind of cool seating in the background. Um, again, it seems to think the gym equipment is uh, seating, but it's basically, you know, using its creative um, ability to modify the image. So let me just show you how this works in real time. So what we'll do, let's come back out of that and let's click plus. So for this one, I think I'm gonna go for another interior view. Okay, so let's choose this one for my eco home project. Let's go for that, we'll load that one in. And let's see what we can actually do with this new one. Okay, so really the first thing you want to do is start off with the style. So with the style, you can basically choose lots of different types of style. Okay, and there's lots of little examples that you can choose. Um, let's go through to a sort of uh, architectural landscape type style. I think I'll go for something like this. Then I'll basically what I can do is choose the different render modes. So if I'm really keen to go really, really creative, this would be the one that I'm gonna choose. Let's go really creative, let's go real conceptual. Okay, so the precise one will retain more of the original image. I'm gonna go really conceptual and click generate. And let's wait and see what this comes up with. As I say, the thing about AI is you've got to try lots of different iterations in order to be able to come up with something that maybe just hits the spot. In terms of actually generating some cool conceptual ideas, you know, this is where it really starts to be interesting. So it's definitely kind of retained things like the table here. You can see, because I selected the external landscape, it's put this sort of spatial quality outside. And that is actually quite a successful image. Um, it's certainly not what I was intending to produce necessarily, but in terms of the architecture and the lighting and things, it might give you some ideas for your renderings. So again, you know, it's definitely something to play around with, see if you can actually find something really, really interesting that will generate some good ideas for your projects. So let's go through and basically go to that little drop down. And I want to show you this one. This is actually very cool. So if I go image to video, 
Basically, what we can now do is jump into another module, and you'll note that this is in beta, where basically I can create little videos that I'll be able to download, and it will create little animations. So here's one that I created before of this wonderful eco home snow scene. Uh, let's just let that one process while I play. You can see it's done a really nice job on the sky. Um, it's kind of zooming the camera out a little bit, changing the perspective as we go. And um, you know, definitely like a little animated GIF, but look at the trees, they look amazing with all the snow. Let's have a look at this one here. Uh, this was a precise mode where I really interpreted quite closely what I had. Um, and again, it did a nice job on the trees, but it kept everything else pretty much as it was, although made it a bit more sketchy, I would say. So definitely quite successful, these little mini videos. Okay, so this one's pretty much done now. As you can see, I like the way you get the uh, updating progress report. Okay, so here we go. Let's see what it's done. So what it's doing is it sort of looks like it's put in the wobbly landscape. It's sort of shifting the image around a bit. Now, I'm not too impressed by this one. I don't know how successful this one has been. Okay, so the final thing I want to do in today's video is just showing you one more thing. As well as actually being able to generate uh, images uh, into videos, you can actually go to text to video. Now here again, there's some nice examples as ever. But if we go to my history, you'll see here's a little one that I was just playing with. So all I did for this one was type in a little bit image prompt, snowy Nordic architecture, minimalist modern villa, and so on. And let's click and you can see it just generated this completely from scratch. So without any other prompting, this is what I got. Well, everybody, I do hope you enjoyed this video on Prome AI. Now, if you are interested in AI, check out some of my other videos. I've looked at Mid Journey, I've looked at LookX as well, and they're all interesting. But so far, I think Prome AI is my favorite architectural image generator, just simply because it has so many tools geared up for the architectural workflow. So, you know, give it a go and see what you think. Um, I will probably come back and make another video on other aspects of Prime AI once I've had a chance to play. But I think let's leave it there for today. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I look forward to seeing you in the next videos. Take care and bye-bye.